What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Hope you guys are doing well, having a great time out there, learning the guitar. Uh, a lot of requests for this song. I'm going to break it down. So there's kind of a couple little cool tricks that aren't too hard, but then also just a straight up, uh, you know, like four chord kind of beginner song as well. I'm going to break down both of those ways for you. And then also there's a little bridge section. Uh, the chords aren't really too hard from that either. So we'll zoom in and do all of it. Uh, also, if you want to request a song, you can be a part of my email list down there. You opt in, and then you just uh, can reply with your song requests. And that's where I'm taking them. That's where this one came from. Uh, but enough of that. Let's zoom in and uh, break it down. Here we go. All right, so let me just break down the basic chords that happen over and over. It starts with the G chord. Then an E minor chord. Then a D chord. But what we're going to do is this note right here is an F sharp note. We're going to play that same note uh, two octaves below right there over that D chord. So that'd be called D slash F sharp. But it's just a D chord with a thumb over there. So that's another thing you can add is that down, up, down, and on that last down I just said, you can go for that chucky sound, which is by muting with my palm, and then, and then right afterwards hitting it with the pick. Now here's another little trick, tricksy, more tricksy thing going on. Um, if you took this D chord shape and moved it up, you, you can even count the alphabet up from D until we get to G and we can play that instead of a regular G. Here's what I mean. D chord, whole step to E, but don't play the open strings, just, the, just what your fingers are pressing on with your left hand. Half step to F, whole step to G. So my middle finger is on the seventh fret of the high E, and I'm playing that G, uh, that D major looking shape. When you play it up here, it's another way to play G. So then another thing you can do. So you can play this little G major 7 chord trick kind of thing. And what you would do is your middle finger is playing this note of the G chord and muting that A string. Then you got the rest of the open strings. And then your ring finger is on that third fret of the high E. And so that's just a G chord. But then you can add your index finger to that second fret of the high E and take your ring finger off of there. And then finally, instead of, we're gonna do, OK, 
okay? And that's just a, you know, tricky little thing you can do. Just as a, you know, something to mix it up with. And I love knowing that, that that's G as well. That's a good thing to know. So I can imagine if it was a singer-songwriter or like a solo artist playing an open mic night or whatever and they wanted to play this one, you could kind of do that as like a little intro in between singing where then you break it down more into the... That kind of thing. All right, so there's All a right. bridge and the bridge is A minor to D over F sharp. And then E minor. And then a D over F sharp to G. Um, so it'd be like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then the next time, A minor, D over F sharp, E minor, then C to. sharp. E minor, now we're going to do for C, C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That was it. Hope you got something from that. Uh, remember, you can be part of my email list in that link down there. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, we'll see you in another lesson real soon. Take care.